So I've got the HS265 on the Massey Ferguson 186 baler. What we've got here, this is the uh, this is the hydraulic pumping, constant pumping. Return is there. This is for the pickup. These are the electronics, got the lights. That's pretty much it. And then I've got this one for a rear camera, but I haven't got it on at the moment. On like a big ball joint as well. Got to keep them well greased. I'll give that a grease in a minute. Some straw under here. Give that a bit of a blowout, reduce some fires. And I'm going to start by oiling this chain. It's not too bad. Probably just wants a bit of tightening actually. Got a couple of, uh, this comes in handy. All right, maybe it doesn't. The chains in here that we're gonna oil. Right, to keep everything well oiled. Chain for the pickup. Got stuff for arm here. We've got grease nipples there, we'll give that a grease in a minute. Pulls these big fingers right back up there that pulls the straw into the chamber. There's a ram that goes forwards and backwards. String. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, eight, five, six. 16 plus 16 on the other side. It's getting expensive to fill this up with string now because I bought eight rolls, which is eight packs. So that's like two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So to fill one side of the baler, I've got the receipt. I'll show you the receipt. So look, eight rolls of tan of twine, £559.20 to fill half the baler. So you're looking to fill the whole baler it's like 1100 quid including the vat. That's bloody ridiculous. Mole, sort your act out. Just give this big main chain around the other side a bit of a, a bit of a grease. Just done up there, look. Same again, stuffer. So look at the pickup. Pick up, got the flywheel here at the front. Yes, sir. Lost the bolt, I'm sure you about me to change that. Up there again, look. I'm just going to give a bit of a grease round. Put a grease nipple on there, and it, all these pipes go to all over the place, and it's all got an auto greaser as well. So, right, I'll give it a grease round, then let's go do some baling. They are cultivating that field, baled that one already as well. Start her up. This one. Then we want it in constant pumping, so flick that. Off we go. It's got this field here to do. these little arrows just here look one that side one that side if they light up black it tells me look oh, i need to drive that way a bit now it's telling me which way to go left and right so it keeps the bale nice and square and also as well, you can see my little lollipops they've just come up down they go that means it's just knotted a bale and it just tells me that they're all obviously all the knots are still working if one of them stays up it means one of the knots hasn't knotted Quite dusty behind because that little thing, silver thing there, is a knotter blower. And then that blue tube is like the tube where all the air comes from, and it's blowing all the knotters to keep all the straw off the knotters. Check some of these bales coming out of the back with this uh, protometer moisture meter. Let's get this stick. Quite stiff, so I've got to sort of shove it into the centre of the bale like that. And we'll turn it on. 11.11% .11 dry. 
So that is good. That means we can go bailing. What's that on there? We don't want it anything above 15%. So yeah, we are looking good. Let me just show you this. Look, if I put my hand on the end, look, that's what we don't want. So it is quite sensitive just by me doing that. Just had a shear bolt go on the floor wheel. Just a break. I'll keep spare shear bolts in here, just in case. Don't happen very often. And there, get it out. There we go. And the nut as well. So there it is. That's the old one. Snapped off, take that back with me. And look, we're gonna line it up in that hole there. So if I put it through from the back, you see it just there, look. Pull the flywheel round to about there. Uh, push it through. There it is. Then we'll just put the nut on and do it up. And off we go again. And off we go again. We're chopping that field because it's going to rain later and the weather's looking really, really bad for about a week. So we're just going to chop that field and forget about it. The last thing I want to be doing is turning straw continuously. Back the bail, the string snap. Never really had that happen before. I don't know why I've done that. The old sits at home, watch me retire and get covered in shit. First job. <laughs> There's a string just there. You need to retie it at the top and the bottom. I just pull this up. Just while I watch it, because there's a thing under there that hurts your fingers. There is a problem. That's just come out of there. Just pull this off, get rid of this. Come on. Just pulled the string. I'm going to tie it around here like that. That last bit of string out the pillar cup so it don't keep locking it up. Must have had a little bit caught around it and then just got itself a little bit bigger. But it's the first time that's happened to me. Well, there we are, we're about clear. There, all the strings are. So it's the, we need to retie. Oh, I can't see it. That one there, it hasn't come off, so I ain't got to re-thread it, which is lucky. Can't show you your pain. So this one here, if I pull that, it should just pull the string back out. There you go, look. There's the end. Oh, it's broke. Pull that back up. Now re tie it up here. Like that. I just tied that round there. So that these can go up and retie at the top but hopefully that should be it and off we go again so hopefully those little lollipops on top they should come up in a minute they should all come up and call them all back down together and if they don't we know there's something wrong there they are all up all coming back down we have successfully retied the string. In the fair few bales. Got one of the JCBs stacking them into fours. And then when I've finished baling, we can go around with the other tractor and uh, stack them onto the trailers. There's my mate. Homemade bale sparker mate. There we are. Field of week done, just got a little field of barley to go and do. Just go and have a look at my mate stacking bales. Don't forget to come here, a little like and subscribe, like everyone else does, whatever. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Just go and have a look at this. He's stacking that trailer over there. He's going around stacking them in packs of four, so it makes it quicker when we come to pick them up in a bit. It's a little bit windy today as well.
And there we have it. We will see you in the next video.